Hi everybody, Chromebook Help Guy here. Welcome to today's video. So you bought yourself a beautiful Chromebook. You've plugged the power cord in, plugged it into the electricity, connected to the Wi-Fi, and either logged into your Gmail account or created yourself a new Gmail account. What's next? Well, first of all, let's have a quick look around the screen itself. You've got your desktop background here. Down on the right hand side, you've got your basic machine and user information panel. And it will give you notifications on things like system updates. You can control your volume from here, access your settings. It will also tell you if Bluetooth is enabled or disabled. It will tell you if you're connected to a Wi-Fi connection and give you your account information as well. You also get the little clock down the bottom as well and your date and times in there for you as well. Along the bottom you have a little app shelf that you can pin your apps to should you want to do so like I've done here. I'll do a separate video on that a little bit later on. And then here on the left hand side is your main application menu. And there is now, if you're on the standard channel as I am, there's now a search facility so you can type straight in there and it will come up with anything that you type in which is really really cool. So I would heartily recommend the first thing you do is click on the app section here for the menu and then click on get help and there is now a full help overview provided with all brand new Google Chromebooks and it's really really good. Discover it's a mixture of online information and videos and presentations which is really really cool. And if you scroll down here, just on Discover, it will go through all the benefits of the specific Chromebook that you have purchased. If you're new to Chromebooks, click on the new to Chromebooks. You can take a quick tour. Um, you can tell you about how to sign into your Chromebook, the Chromebook touchpad tips, how to use it, your keyboard shortcuts. So there's a brief list here, look of keyboard shortcuts. It's really, really cool. <clears throat> and it will give you a really really nice basic overview of all the different features and facilities of your brand new Chromebook including getting online personalization so you can you know change the wallpaper customize the um, screen menus and buttons etc um, app replacement so it'll give you approximate app replacements on the Chromebook interestingly what it says for Skype Skype is not currently supported on the Chromebooks, but they're suggesting that you use Google Hangouts to replace that. Mm. That's one of my um, gripes with the Chromebook, but nevertheless. Um, Photoshop, uh, VLC. Again, you can click on all of these and it will tell you the VLC is not like blah, blah, Chromebooks, but you can play common media for blah, blah, blah. And it just gives you a really nice overview of all the stuff that is and isn't available for your Chromebook. There's also a section on managing all your applications. Um, there's information on the Chrome Web Store as well, which is really, really nice. My only gripe with the Chrome Web Store is for me, it should have a separate dedicated section for Chromebook only apps, because a lot of the apps in the Chrome Web Store will not work on your webbook and you won't know which ones they are until you come to install them. Uh, connecting devices is also covered along with photos so you can edit share images manage your photos uh, printing that's all covered in there for you nice and easy entertainment listening to music and doing all your videos etc using the web that's all in there with your cloud computing fix a problem which is just terrific again it gives you an overview and an idea and a little hand holding on what to do should you have a problem and last but not least your own personalized Chromebook mine as I say is an Acer C720 but this will put you in direct contact with your hardware manufacturer fabulous all in there inbuilt for you all via that little green icon called get help and it's terrific it really really is so there you go that's the first thing you should do once you've booted your Chromebook up, you should check out the help section and familiarize yourself with all the different sections. I would heartily recommend that you choose the sections that are relevant to you rather than going through everything. So if you want to be able to use the internet, do a bit of word processing or spreadsheeting, listen to music, then look at the relevant sections that pertain to that. Thanks for watching everybody. Please rate, comment, subscribe, thumb the videos up, and I will see you for another wicked Chromebook help guide.
COVID